Hello and welcome to another episode. Now, recently bought in a local German retailer, we have Tronic 2400 milliamp 1.2 volt rechargeable batteries, uh, nickel metal hydride. It also says here that you can charge up to 1000 times, and of course, they're AA batteries. Are they really 2400 milliamps? Let's check. Right, I forgot to mention it also said they come pre-charged and ready to use. Well, let's just check it out. So we just move those to one side and we'll just get the meter and we'll just check them there now. 1290, 1290, 1288, slightly off, 1295. So the reading's slightly different, but what we do then is we'll just put them onto a charge and we'll charge them all up and then we'll do a discharge. So here we have my smart charger. Put them all in. Now, unusual, they did them all in different colours. So, if you, I suppose, if you buy four sets and you can have them all in the same colour, we'll just stick it on there. And it recognises them and it's charging them. So we'll give that a moment to charge up fully, we'll test them again, then let them settle for a small bit and then we'll discharge them and see if they are truly 2400 milliamps. One hour and eight minutes to charge them. Now disregard this one here because I had upset the battery and it started to go through a cycle again. But if you noticed here, it, this one here, the last one to charge, it took 1 minute and 8, it charged to 1.48 volts. And if we go through them, this is 1.48, now this is 1.49 and it took 1 minute and 5, oh, sorry 1 hour and 5 minutes. This one is 1.47 volts and it took 1 hour and 4 minutes. 1.48, 1 hour and 8 minutes. Now let's just test them and we'll see what they look like. So take them out. They're warm to the hand. It's nice party colours. One point four four, one point four seven, one point four five. Right, let's just take this one here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to discharge it. But for the moment we'll let it sit for about an hour. So it will settle and then we'll discharge it. It's now one hour since it was charged and let's just test it again. And we have 1.436, you could call it 1.44 and now we'll discharge it. So, using my little thing I made up, we just place it in, and using the IMAX ch discharge charger, discharger balancer, we'll just set it. Set it for discharge, and I'm going to discharge it at 0.5 amp, 
and it's recommended that a rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery should not be discharged anything lower than 0 0.8 volt and that's what we're going to do so we'll discharge it and we'll see what happens now this take this may take some time so again I'll probably speed this up or I'll just skip to when it's discharged exactly two hours later and discharging at 0.5 of an amp or 500 milliamps it took exactly two hours and it's reading 1000 milliamps so in effect the battery is really a 1000 milliamp battery now correct me if I'm wrong but your average household item flashlight camera whatever wouldn't be using much more than 500 milliamps so you may get a little bit more out of it or you may not well I hope you found this video useful maybe you decide whether you'll buy these or not or if they're good enough for what you want they're about five euro to buy or the equivalent in your own currency and if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up don't forget to like share subscribe and we'll see you again soon